Good evening. My name is Kendra Ross. Thank you for making the decision to be with us tonight. Throughout the past hour, you have seen just how big this human trafficking problem is. You have seen how it impacts every corner of the world. But I'm here to remind you that the solution starts with just one, one person, one decision. I presented at last year's On My Side Awards. I shared part of my story. My attorney was even honored the year before. But this year, I want to do something different. I want to tell you where I am now, what I'm doing with my life since being free of my traffickers. Now I'm a college student. I live with my crazy cat. I have made, I have, I have an amazing network of supportive friends, including my lawyers, Betsy Hudson and Anand Ramana, who I love dearly. So what next? Next time you see me, I'm going to be a lawyer, a detective, open a bakery, start a family, continue to advocate for human trafficking victims and survivors like myself. Who knows? Maybe all of these, maybe something completely different. And this is the point. Everything, everything you learned about tonight, this complex, terrible world of forced labor and human rights abuses and the fight against it, it's all about people real individual humans with hopes and dreams, real people who struggle and put their whole selves into making it right and making it better for the people who follow us. This is why this work is so important for all, for all those who deserve their opportunity to pursue their goals, to become who they aspire to be. We, you and I can help make it possible for them it is fitting now to honor an individual who understands these ideas so deeply that she has made it made them her life's work. Aneshka Freeman is the country's leading litigator on the most complex, challenging human trafficking cases brought to federal court. She has inspired lawyers across the globe to bring cases to combat forced labor themselves, and she travels the world to meet with trafficking survivors and to bring cases on their behalf. And she has worked with her clients with humanity and kindness, with an eye toward what their future could what their futures could hold. Aneshka is a visionary, and we are thrilled to honor her as the advocate of the year. Thank you for that lovely introduction. I'm humbled to join the other honorees who've been recognized tonight by the Human Trafficking Legal Center. They're an amazing group who've achieved landmark victories for their clients and for the rule of law. The Advocate Award means a lot to me because I've been litigating human trafficking cases since before there was a trafficking statute, when I first represented the survivors of Nazi era forced labor and the comfort women of World War II. Since that time, I've represented Indonesian men who were trafficked onto fishing vessels in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, Cambodian villagers who worked in Thai shrimp factories, and Nepali men who were taken from Nepal to Jordan to work at US military bases in Iraq as well as domestic servants held in forced labor here in Washington, DC. What motivates me and what I think are the long-term goals of this effort is first, empower workers, people who are just seeking a better life for themselves and their families. And second is to build capacity in local communities so workers have the tools they need to avoid exploitation in the first place. And so they can fight back when they find themselves trapped, whether here or in their home countries. The Human Trafficking Legal Center plays a key role in that effort. I've partnered with a lot of organizations, big and small, here and overseas, but the center is the most effective at building a community of lawyers and advocates across the globe. One of the joys of my job is I've met people all over the world who are tremendously inspiring and who work hard in far more difficult conditions than I do. I've worked with a lawyer in Cambodia who jumped on a motorcycle to rescue Cambodian villagers stuck overseas. I've met lawyers in India who figured out how to use a mass legal action to get their government to fund support payments for trafficking victims who needed that money to rebuild their lives. There are many advocates all over the world who are risking their own lives and freedom to fight for the victims and survivors of human trafficking and forced labor. In order to succeed, these advocates need support. Sometimes they need help in preserving evidence, help in finding translators and experts who can testify in court, and help in gathering information on defendants who might be hidden behind borders or behind corporate formalities. We can't begin to solve these problems, the problem of human trafficking and forced labor in our global economy, without the information assistance and cross-border community building being done by the Human Trafficking Legal Center. 
In all of my own cases, I've gotten amazing support from the center. Advice on legal strategy, on experts, amicus support, and referrals to NGOs on the ground in the client's home countries. Martina, Sarah, and everyone here works hard, works smart, and has epic vision. They just need more resources so they can reach farther and be more effective. I'm very proud to be part of their network, and I hope everyone here will give them as much support as possible so they can continue the work they do so well. Thank you.